Good evening, Darren. Good evening, everybody. Watching this match. I think we're in for a cracking match tonight. We're in for a cracking night. Oh, what a start that is from the queue of Ricky Walden. Ricky, uh, hey. such a heavy scorer, such a creative player. Don't think Ronnie's going to have Ricky it all Walden, his own way eight. tonight. He's been someone of uh, Ricky Walden's standard and the way he's been playing back into form over the last couple of months. One thing's for sure, if he gets the chances, he's going to score. One. He knows he'd be going to another red, so looks like it's just a safety. You can't blame him. Ricky Keeping Walden, control eight. of the table. That was very, very thin. But I do like that shot. He said no one else in the game plays it. Very thin with loads of run inside. He's become a right master at it. Expected miss from Ronnie there. He hasn't got away with it. This is a decent chance to get a few points on the board. Okay. One. Ricky Walden has made 318 centuries in his career so far. Nine. Fourteen. Nice little angle on the black, so he can slide past. Well, that is a nice little angle. You'll be looking now just to slide past this red down at the bottom of the cluster. Nicely done. Just be rolling through. Leave yourself an angle on the black to go into that cluster on his next shot. Twenty-three. Another lovely gap there, isn't there? The two reds that are above the black. If he can go in the gap left of that with screw, just like that, and they've opened perfectly. Thirty-one. It's good to see him back showing the form. Thirty-eight. He's playing these balls with a lot of authority. He's the winner of three ranking events. And the 2008 Shanghai Masters, 2012 Wuxi Classic, 2014 International oh, Championships. So it's been a few years since he got his hands on any silverware. Well, we said at the start, he's a very creative player. You wouldn't see that many many times a season. Um, he actually raised the cue there to get the cue ball bouncing to try and generate more angle. You see this, not a push shot. Striking down made the cue ball go wider. He was trying to get on the top side of that red. And it was the shot before that was the bad shot. Finished in no man's land. The well, lead is 70 54. points. There's 75 still on the table, so the frame's still very much alive. He's 70 points ahead here. He's got no insurance. There are no balls safe. He has to be very careful. Yeah, and he's actually put the red safe and the black safe there. Very clever shot. Shot that was. How effortless did he make that one look? As I say, now the work begins. He can afford a couple of pinks. Seven. But he's now put tight on that, that cushion. Eight.
14. Twenty-three. I want to signal this would be if somehow he managed to pinch this. Thirty. If he wants to, he can move the other red in the same shot here. No, he decided against it. Thirty-one. Same choice here though, he can play to move it if he wants or he can drop in behind it. 38. Mm, that's gone wrong. 38. Oh, he was trying to bump the red round the table, that's gone wrong. Thank you. And I think that red passes the pink. 38. So a chance for Ricky Walden to put the first frame to bed. Is this game we love earlier in the frame? There's no way you'd have missed that. Anybody thinks the pockets are big at home? That last shot would prove <laughs> you'd have to differ with it. This audience is already getting involved, Sean, and they? they're loving it. That's a very good reply there from O'Sullivan, just a flick off the pink is going to help him. Cue ball's close. Oh my goodness, it's still close. Yeah, I can't see Ricky Walden missing this one, Darren. Not, I put my house on this one. Oh good, I still got my out. What a great first aim this has been. Seven. I nearly pulled it off, Ronnie. No. But at least it looks like both players are in good form. He's not going to be bothered. The green didn't go in. He had a nice break of 54, which has helped him. Ricky Walden, he leads. One frame to nil. What I would say is that Without being too critical, the vast majority of players on tour are completely intimidated when they play Ronnie, particularly in a big match like this. They get all nervous, they get involved, he's the hero to most of the players, and they're pretty much beaten before they play. But Ricky isn't one of those players. Yes, he respects Ronnie, of course, but he'll think he can win. trouble there and put O'Sullivan in the same trouble. And Ronnie, one of the first players to use that break-off style safety shot. It's a great effect. Excellent weight on the cue ball. Good safety by Ricky Walden. And he's looking for it to be such oh, nothing. Nice. He's missed them all together. Ricky Walden four. So the cube. Don't see it very often, but might just have to hit this red full in the face and screw back. Chance his arm as to where the reds are going to go. That's his only real way back. But as I say, you don't know where the reds are going to go. Professional players don't like playing shots where they don't know where the balls are going to finish. He's interested in those two reds between the black and the pink spot. Are they a plant to the left-hand corner?
Jones. He's found one there. What a shot that was. What a creative shot. Absolutely terrific. Never easy to control them kind of shots. Ian hey. Black will only go into the one corner. So this is going to be the clever navigating of the cue ball and potting this red. He didn't really want that. I'm not sure whether he can get through this paint now. It might be no. tight. No problem. 15. Thank you. 16. 22. 23. 28. And he might have dropped on this red with the angle to move the red from the black. I can't really play that with any real conviction. Just be super careful not to push this. The tendency would be to leave it short. And because he was so close to it, he couldn't really get the backspin. 36. 36. You called it, Sean. That red might have gone in. He was very close to it. It's only the pace that have stopped it from dropping in. Well, wow. it's a nice crisp pot from Romeo Sullivan. I mean, most of the reds go to the right corner. That's a very well struck shot indeed. Five. Which allows him to get back onto the black. Six. Was perfect. The drone is really going to have to hold on here at the minute, the way Ricky Walden has started off in this match. First to four. It's a quick sprint. 13. 14. And when you've got two players as good as these. It's got a tendency he can go one way or the other. It's either going to be a close match or someone's going to steamroller the other player. 21. I'm sure this crowd want to see a nice, long, dragged out match tonight, not a quickie. 22. 29. 30. 37. It's just gone wrong. Didn't get the cannon quite as he wanted, so switching hands. This is a bit thinner than it looks on the screens. No, but he's just so good. At switching hands. It's almost become unnoticeable now when he does it. Forty-two. Forty-three. Enough. And how important will that misread to the middle pocket of Ricky Walden's be come the end of this match? It was all Ricky to that point. He didn't have to play that red. Was that a case of just maybe pushing the boat out a little bit too far? 55, 56, 63, 64. Yeah, class from our Sullivan miss. all Ricky Walden. It's all the misread to the left centre pocket, but O'Sullivan showing he's here to play too. 
Bit of exhibition snooker. Just comes a little bit too far on the ground. 76. And he'll show them 76 on the frame. No, he's not too bothered about missing that brown. That great break of 76 following that easy mistake from Ricky Walden. Levels the scores. Oh, very much. Wow, miss. You can see it now, he's striking right over there on the left, look, this time. It was fine. Neither player wanted the black safe, just to move the black into a slightly better position for both players. There's nothing worse, Darren, is there, than when the black gets tied up early doors in a frame. Your heart sinks. Uh, yes, especially when you're attacking players like these two are, and like yourself, really, as well. You know, you like the balls to be there so you can score. And there is a shot on the other pot, this red, and go into that back cluster where well, it's wow. caught the red. It might have worked to his advantage because it's just clipped the other red that was near that black spot. Which, as long as he pots his black down, gets on the red. Could work out very nicely indeed. Well, the black's in. Eight. But the one that he clipped away from the black spot goes to this right corner. Nine. on this red, just above the black there. 14. To pop the blue in the correct part of the pocket, to miss the red on the side cushion to get here. Just played that with a touch of left, just to turn it around those two reds, well played. Wasn't quite on this, you had to play that with left hand side, just to bend it slightly. 22. 23. He just has to choose, does he want to hit the pack of pace or to clip the red that's to the left? And yeah, that's his choice. He's more controllable. And if he pops this red that's near the black, you'd think he's going to move everything. 31. Nobody expected to have a thinner contact on the bunch than that. As you can see, he pops the red, he gets an absolute full ball contact on the second red. That stops the cue ball in its tracks. End of break now. He just didn't have thinner well, than he wanted 31. to, and I think Ronnie can get through to this red to the left middle. That's a mistake. Oh. Well, that's probably the worst shot Ronnie's played this evening so far. And he has got this red to this right centre, so... He's missed it. Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. Strange old game. One. Oh. Ronnie will need the red to the left hand side of the table that's on the cushion even with nine reds left that red's going to be the deciding factor in this frame if Ronnie can run out the rest of the reds in the middle of the table thank you five and of course when Ricky's contribution came to an end a few moments ago he tried to put the yellow safe didn't manage that either, so it's all about that red. 12. Thirteen. Twenty-eight. 
20. Just have a little look there to see where he's going to leave the cue ball. Couldn't really do a lot. 21. Without shot, let him push through, but check to make sure he could get through to the pink on the potted angle. He's one good 27. shot, really, away from being back in perfect position. 28. And that was a clever choice of shot. He left the red near the blue. He wanted to play it at first look, but he left it there. It's a great reserve red if things go wrong. And he finished straight on the black that time, so he's had to play for it this time. 35. Very clever break building strategy. 36. Takes the three reds here that are in open play with blacks. We're still going to need that red on the side cushion. I think he, he along with me, thought he'd missed that block then. 47. 48. Behind 55. And that was a kick. Daniel Sullivan, 55. You don't see many of those in these in snooker these days since all the players swap yeah, sure. chalk, but Ronnie's one of the players who still uses the traditional chalk, and that was a definite kick. Red bounce, and the cue ball finished four or five inches short. Bit of a collector's item that these days. You don't see many of those anymore. One. How does Ricky choose to move the red or play for it? Play to move it, and he has moved it. He doesn't hit it full ball from behind. The cue ball has stayed exactly where the red was. And now it's decision time. Now oh, he's gone for the red and got it. What a fantastic yeah. shot. Touch the sides. Fabulous shot. Now, one good shot to the yellow. How's the pace? 14. Pretty good. Sixteen. Nineteen. Brown, blue, and pink needed. 23. He's going to have to come up and down the table for this pink. 28. Just got into that a little bit too much, but it's this pink to secure this third frame. Daniel Sullivan will be a little bit 51. sick. You know, he's got a lovely 55 days, had a terrible kick in that frame, which has cost him the frame. Ricky Walden's cleared up. Ricky Walden now leads two frames to one. What a steal. After stealing the previous frame, it was the worst start possible to this fourth frame by Ricky Walden. Catching the blue is completely debilitating to your confidence, means you've Hit the break off all wrong. I'm talking of hitting it all wrong. Ronnie played to clip the red on the pack there. Missed the red altogether and hit the one behind it. So that was a mistake as well. Can Ricky get through to this red? Yes, he could. Oh. An unexpected chance. He's in good spirit, so Eight. he found that shot funny that he played. And Tricky goes on to make a break here. Nine. Maybe it won't be quite as funny. 
cluster of reds need moving, obviously, at some point. If this is going to be a frame-winning contribution from Ricky Walden. Well, from Ricky well, Walden. Thirteen. Well, pink spots coming. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-seven. To the middle pocket. He's hoovered up all the loose ones. Twenty-eight. Now this split has to go well. Oh, and he has excellent shot. <laughs> Top spinning left hand side, spinning off the pack of reds 35. there. And remember, this is all from that mistake from O'Sullivan where he hit the wrong ball. Thirty-six. He was smiling a little bit earlier at this shot. There's been a costly error. 43. It's good to see him four. playing back as well as he is. Classy player in full flow. 51. 52. 58. Pink spot unavailable, so on to the next highest available, which is in this case is the blue, but... 59. ...things at all from Ricky Walden's perspective. The break moves to 59. Just 66. Just the red and the black. Ronnie will need snookers. Thank you. 67. Seventy-five. Eighty-one. Eighty-two. Possible break of hundred and forty available here. Eighty-nine. Ninety. Six. Ninety-seven. Well played, Ricky Walden. Career century three hundred and nineteen. One hundred and three. One hundred and fourteen. One hundred and eighteen. One hundred and twenty-three. One hundred and twenty-nine. A fabulous break of one hundred and thirty-six. Then from Ricky Walden, he extends his lead in this match. He leads. Three frames to one. So the last time the cue ball went behind the green, this time there's an error made. I think he's got away with it. Lucky for him, the one red covered the other one. But I don't think Ricky Walden is going to hand anything to him on a plate. Ricky Walden one. Needs the cover from the yellow. 
in fairness, that is where he played the cue ball. So, well played, good shot. Just look in there, if he gets near the blue, in his mind, if he plays the cannon to the blue, the red over the pocket will be blocked by the other red. So he's trying to hit the blue here. Red. Did he get the cover as well? You know, obviously he can pop the brown, the red over the pocket's waiting, but what comes after? In fact, he's choosing to not play the brown. Well, I'm amazed. Ricky Walden won. Well, I can't support that shot, I'm afraid. That makes two of us, Sean, especially after the 136 in the previous frame. All the momentum with him. I mean, Ronnie's just going to drop in now on this red. I can't understand that. Yeah, that brown was dead straight. Very, very important when you have somebody of Ronnie's class in this position that you don't try and just fall over the line. You still have to run at the line and cross it. And he's potted oh. that red as well. That's another great pot. He's not on a colour again this time. As I say, you, you have to be careful not to go into your shell in these situations. I can understand him playing the snooker here. Foul. Did he reach? No, he didn't. Ricky Walden, and now, one, four, Ronnie O'Sullivan, three ball. Now he is in an absolute world of yeah. trouble. I go back to his shot a few shots ago. I cannot understand why he didn't pop the brown to the middle pocket. I think that red that's two from the pink is potable. Pretty sure that's the one he'll be playing. It's a natural shot to nothing back to the balk end of the table. shot that is from Ronnie O'Sullivan. And this crowd getting behind him. The ICC. 18 minutes since he potted a ball, would you believe? What a shot it was to end his drought. Back. He's hit that brown way too good there as well. So he's a lot thinner on this red than he'd have liked. Six. The three good shots in a row here. He's played him as if he was 3-1 up, not 3-1 behind. I think that's one of the strong points of Ronnie Sullivan. He is never beaten until you've potted the last ball. No. Ten. Let's just iron this red up. It does pass, but only just. 18. Yeah, very well played. And now, really, he's got this frame at his mercy already. He's developed the reds underneath the black expertly. Just like the master break builder he is on the table. 26. The psychology of this game is massive. Ricky chose not to play the brown into the middle pocket. No, Sullivan will have noticed that. And that might have just buoyed his spirits just a little bit. 33. 34. 41. 42. His average shot time at the moment is 15 seconds a shot. When he gets a chance, the scoreboard changes so quickly. No matter how far he is behind, he gets on one. He can run two or three frames off in 15, 20 minutes, and all of a sudden, 57. he's back on your court tails. 57. Well, this, this break isn't four and a half minutes long. This frame's 56. already over. As we said earlier on, how important is that choice of shot from Ricky Walden going to be in the next few minutes as this match carries on? 
had a chance to win, turned it down. 74. Yes. 81. Eighty-two. Eighty-eight. Well, there's no century. Ronnie Dorado yeah, have given us cry the second century of the evening. They've gone with Ricky Walden's century. It wasn't to be, but he has cut his arrears down to one. Ricky Walden beats three frames to two. We see the stats of the match so far. To the quarterfinals of this year's Welsh Open. It's the third break off on the bounce where the player has hit the blue. I always thought you were supposed to miss the blue, Darren. It is um, amazing, mind now. Obviously, these cloths, super fine. Cable slides around, a bit like an ice rink out there, really. That's a mistake by Ricky Walden. He's liking that blue. And Ronnie had a good long pot last frame. Won the frame from it. And it's another oh. good one. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. 17. 24. Well, this is telling us something, Sean. He's been playing this red in a green pocket. He probably had an easier red in the right corner. Just try to pinch a little there. 25. That's an unexpected miss there on that black. 12. No real one. value in snookering. Ronnie O'Sullivan here. Okay. way on the thin side and that's why the cue ball collided with the red on the way back that's a massive error as we get to the line One. Sullivan's starting to look the best he's looked all night just when he needs it most Fabulous shot. And then he had the one left to play for. Got there perfectly. Six. I'm not sure where the next red's coming from. Not sure if the top red of those two is available. You can see there it does. Oh goodness. What a shot that was. He's so unlucky to miss the pack. Hit that like a dream. 13. Oh, the cue ball flew then off that cushion. And Sullivan, 13. We've had a kick and a big bounce. Oh, this is another poor shot from Ricky. You just can't play a good shot at the moment. It's as if Sean, like you said, he's trying to coast over the line. He's got into his shell a little bit. What is wrong? He's gone the other way. And another positive oh. shot. I mean, if he's played that, if he misses that, look what he's leaving. Ricky Walden had a very similar shot open to him. 
Tried to play safe. Played a poor safety. Eight. Spotted quite a few long pots in the last two frames. Ominous signs for Ricky Walden. Nine. Sixteen. Seventeen. But he just needs this red. Ricky Walden now needs snookers in this frame. And it looks like we're going all the way to the decider. That's what this crowd wanted. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. He puts this frame beyond any doubt now. Just a bit of potting practice here. To keep Ricky in his seat a little bit longer. Ricky will have already 35. started getting himself ready for the deciding frame. 36. His average shot time down to 12 seconds for this break. As we said in the previous frame, the scoreboard can change so quickly when Ronnie's 44. at the table. 20 minutes ago, he was 3 1 down. 44. Fifty one. Fifty two. Fifty eight. Sixty. What a performance this has been from the Rocket. Sixty. Get back into this match. It's okay when your opponent makes mistakes, but it's a completely different thing to capitalise on them. And hasn't 67. he done that here so well? Seventy-two. Seventy-eight. Vintage from the Rocket, that break of 85 came from nowhere. He levels the scores in this match to get to the quarterfinals. It's three frames apiece. Thank you, the Three. Strikes of the blue. He has missed it. But he has left the red to this right corner. And he was a long way off with that, wasn't he? Obviously, at 3-1 up, everything was nice and easy. And I don't know about you, Darren, but I really think Ronnie enjoys these situations these days. He's achieved everything there is in, to achieve in the game. Nothing left to prove, obviously. I think when it gets tense like this and you know the shots are demanded you have to play it now can you do it now i think he really enjoys the challenge well he's been smiling hasn't he like you said the match has been played in great spirit and he, he has been smiling even at the and the shots that he's played that have gone wrong but i think over the years he's developed you know to be one of the best safety players around you know that's become a very very strong part of his game he's now crafted a great safety game, and uh, and he plays it different to everybody else. Well, there's a fabulous documentary on earlier in the week, as we see this great return from Ricky Walden, a fabulous documentary shown about Ray Reardon, and in it he talks about when he joined forces with O'Sullivan, and he said to O'Sullivan, I'm going to make you impregnable, and he really did change the way O'Sullivan went about the whole safety and tactical part of the game. He has left Ricky a chance. Well, and Ricky Walden's chance. Been dormant the last two frames, but here he is. Chance to win again. Eight. Nine. This is about two things now. Composure and keeping that cue ball under tight control, making these shots as easy as possible when the pressure's on the most. That's gone wrong. 16. He is on this red, but it's a real thin snake. He's played it well. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. so cool, the bounce off this side cushion. 
Got that red to the left of the black. Just got to make sure of the pot. Just one good pot. Have to pull another one out. 22. Continue this little effort. And this is not nice at all. Just got to trust your cue in and push through the cue. 23. Made that look very, very easy. Ronnie's made one mistake in this, and he could cost him. Yeah, he wants to play the red that's near the black, 30. but there's a specific sequence he needs to take these reds in. These two near the pocket open the game up. Everything's covering each other, so this is the harder shot. Thank you. 31. Couldn't have picked that up with his hand and put it better for this red. Perfectly played. 39. 46. 47. 54. Back on and off the cushion for the red through the gap. Has he gone too far? He has. 61 points the lead. Just lost the cue ball too many times. He's not thinking about potting the pink. In. Surely not. What a shot, Ricky Walden. 68. Just this red, Leo Sullivan needs snoopers. 69. What a terrific break this has been. And it looks like Ricky Walden's going to take us out in style. When he refused that brown into the middle 76. pocket. Could not believe he didn't go for it. That pink that he went for in the green pocket this time, that more than made up. 83. You'd have to say it's a deserved win. Well, he'd love the red to have gone in. It hasn't gone in. Ronnie's yeah. coming around to give him his hand. What a brilliant match, played in fantastic spirit. Both players at the top of their game, but it's Ricky Walden who progresses to the quarterfinals with a brilliant 4-3 win over Ronnie O'Sullivan. Well done, Ricky.